All right, so let's check out this new location called Crystal Dream Lake that we discovered. Chapter 2. Fantastic. The Spooky Forest. Oh, this is exciting. So we actually made it through one chapter. Holy crap. How long did that take? A little long time. I don't know how long this chapter will be. I'm assuming it's the same freaking amount of time, but who knows. Take a bus somewhere. No, we're not taking a bus anywhere. So I'm still walking like a crab and I got this uh, gas mask on or the welding mask. Uh, which is fine. What's going on in here? Okay, I should probably choose myself before I start poking the room around his stuff. This makes sense to me. What's up, buddy? Excuse me, are you the lighthouse keeper? Sorry to bother you, my name is Crispy Bacon. Ah, uh, yeah. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Are you okay? Uh, I just, I ain't talked to a lot for a while, I get rusty. I see lighthouse keeping a lonely job, huh? Well, it's solitary, that's for sure. I ain't minded, although... Ain't exactly a people person. What can I do for you? What does a lighthouse keeper actually do? Well, it used to be I had to light the lamp every sundown and then douse it again at sunrise to save on fuel. Used to be when it was oil lamp. We got a hookup to the electrical grid a couple years ago though, so I just leave it on all the time. But all I have to do now is change the bulb once in a while. It sounds very peaceful. It is. Nice and quiet and plenty of time on my hands. You must have a bunch of hobbies. Got a book, a uh, weekly knife and plenty middle distance to stare into. How'd you get into the line of work? Uh, my family has always been lighthouse keepers on both sides. Ma and Pa kept lighthouse within sight of each other. Used to the wink the lights back and forth once in a while. That's kind of romantic. You know, I never did find out how I was actually born. <laughs> anyway, um, was there something you need? Have you seen an old compass around? That's what I'm looking for, like a compass now, right? The directions kind or the circles kind? Directions. Got an old one I picked up at the estate sale about uh, 20, old, 20 odd years ago, I recon. I show it to you, but it's upstairs and the lighthouse is flooded. Flooded. Filled right up to the top. Have a look though, um, the window, there is, you might see a fish pass by. How did that even happen? Pump, pump broke. No, I mean, how does the lighthouse just fill up with water? We aren't even below the sea level here. Something to do with the tides, I recon. This is a lake. Anyhow, I need a Glaxton valve to fix the pump. There is a hardware store down the road. Peace, if you mind, to help out location like Valley Hardware. Okay, so. What do we need to do for this one? We need to uh, some kind of Glaxton valve to fix the pump. All right. We can also look through the windows to see same. So I gotta make sure I get my fishing rod ready. See, I need I need to figure out how to how to um fix these fishing rods because this one is, you know, not that great. And it's I mean this one's a good one and it's basically worn out. So I need to figure out how to fix it. I don't know how to do that yet. So we got this one equipped for now. And it's 5 out of 15. We do have this cello. That's a pretty damn good. Um, but I like to have the fishing rod on by default. Uh, what's this book? War and Peace. Uh, that's a hefty one. Mind the bookmark now. Of course, oh, it looks like you just started. Been reading it about five and a half years. Your bookmark is still in chapter one. I just about to go up to the last sentence of it. I've been reading one word every day. War and Peace is almost 600,000 words. Don't tell me how it is. <laughs> I won't. Um, check the mirror. Yeah, no, I'm not doing this again. This is not... <laughs> this is not anything. Let's get out of here. Uh, do some cooking. Okay, so I can actually make some stuff here. Uh, what can I make? Yeah, I can make some... Um, what is it for the fighting, right? Just food, right? Yeah, so good to know. I don't need to make anything right now. Unless I, I'm up against like a really, really crazy fight. I need it for a quest. This is not just said. Did you whittle the piece yourself? It took me 16 years. It took you six months to carve each piece. Pawns went quicker. The tall ones, but more or less. 
The horses were particularly tricky. No sense in rushing it. I guess not. Okay, maybe I can play a game with him. I'll probably lose. I don't know if I'm strong enough to play the game. Uh, well, here, I'll pay you. Well, good luck. Hold on a second. Why does he want... He wants to get paid to play a freaking game? Interesting, he says. You push one of the black pawns forward. Interesting. It's your turn. Don't rush me. I want to consider all possibilities. Come back in three or four months. Oh boy. Okay, so that's not going to work out. Okay, so we can't do anything with this lighthouse. Uh, so let's get out of here. And let's go to this hardware store and purchase a... Some kind of valve that he wants. There's a pump. A light out from this house? Let me light out from this house. Oh. Oh, I see this is a brand new map. Okay, so this is the next chapter. Well, that's crazy. Okay, so he's like a hardware store that he's talking about, so let's go there. Oh, I'm actually taking this road here, okay. Fair enough. Look, words on a stick. Gabby's pointing out a sign advertising Greta's compassionate pet store with an arrow pointing down the road. A pet store, let's go look at pets. I guess we might as well. I have no other choice. I guess we might as well. Do you like animals, Gabby? Yes, Gabby has wants a pet for such a long time, but none of them are any good ever. Not good enough or not strength enough. A cute strong pet Gabby's looking for. Well, maybe you'll get lucky this time. Okay, I got like one. Th okay, I got like the location. Let's um, let's go to the hardware store next. I mean, pet store later after the hardware store. Let's check out this valve. After a short hike, you'll find a small hardware store uh, and a very old model of a down home country hardware store. Except it doesn't have any old timers sitting in front chewing the fat. Maybe it's their day off, or maybe they ran off out of fat. Let's look around. Hey, Gabby. What is this? Oh, I don't have the hobo code knowledge. I have like at least, I have to have at least five. I need to find another hobo to, to translate this. Okay, let me write this down so I don't forget. Alright, so hobo, hopefully down the road we'll find some more hobos to learn the code from. So let's talk to this guy. Maybe he's a hobo. I doubt it. I don't think hobos have a job, honestly, about playing musical instruments. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Uh, you're the proprietor, I presume. presume. Welcome to the Valley Hardware. Best hardware store in the Crystal Dream Valley. Why is that? Because it's the only hardware store in Crystal Dream Valley. Been a long time since I got to use that joke. Don't get many new customers. Uh, let's ask for a valve. Uh, which... Crap. Which valve do you need? Let's just go never mind for now, and let's go to the quests. Go to Valley and Hardware Store and see if we can track down Glaxton Valve. Glaxton Valve. Check this guy again. We need Glaxton Valve. Glaxton. None of this. Something else. That's it right there. Glaxton Valve. Well, Shunks, they stopped making those things nearly a decade ago. I guess there's a slight chance there's still one in the back room. And been back there since termites got into in the, at the inventory, or maybe after it got flooded. Anyway, it's real biblical style of disaster back there. Here, I'll unlock the door for you, so you can take a look around. If you can find the Glaxton valve in that mess, you're welcome to it. Thanks. Mind you, you step in there. Let's, can we ask him something else? What else do we have for sale? So that's all the cells that we have. he has, right? Um, oh, well, that's cool. Three maximum XP to have, that's a good one. People will hear you coming. Some Tobos actually have that one already. Mm, see, I think two, I mean, oh yeah, he has two in storage. His battery has a fuse. Fuse, I can buy fuses now. And matches. Well, that's good. Okay, so good to know. So in case I need this for quest, like I did last time, I could just come back here and um, buy a fuse. What's this? Nothing? Oh, I know what that black thing is, I think. 
blow its mind. You got a knife and powerful grid. Wait, I think it's for like um crafts or cooking. Okay. So we're gonna step through this. There's a door, but like I can get through it. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> you step through the hole in the door and immediately feel a sicking in lurch in your stomach and burst off. This was a bad idea in your mind. Like when you hit the first drop on a traveling carnival's rusty and hastily assembled roller coaster. After a moment when the feeling has subsided enough, you open your eyes and look around. It looks like you're still in the same place you were, except someone came in and cleaned everything up while you weren't looking. Okay, so same place, but it's all cleaned up and we got a bunch of doors now that are standing up somehow, magically. Didn't believe in magic till now. Interesting. Make some stuff, it's a workbench. Okay. Oh, bad items, fancy combat items. Okay, so that's the stuff we can use in combat. Like again, I mean, I can make all the stuff, really. Because I probably have the stuff to make it, right? That's the only like, thing I can use them for. I saw I have all this crafting materials. But... We haven't occurred in a really hard fight yet. So we're just gonna... We don't really have to do it now. 1917 calendar in the wall by the desk. It looks very new. Wait, can we craft a valve? Probably not, right? No, there's no way. There's no valve here. Alright. Where the hell is the valve? There's a door here. As you leave the storeroom, the shopkeeper spins around and you both stare at each other in surprise. You because the shopkeeper looks quite a bit younger than he did when you went in there and him because, hey now, what in the heck were you doing in my back room? And how did you get back in there without me seeing you? Uh, termite inspector. I didn't call for any termite inspectors. No, I do surprise inspections so the termites won't find out in advance. <laughs> well, how did you get past me? I'm very good at my job. Fantastic. Ah, well, I don't expect you found any termites. I make my own custom pesticide. Yes, it seems to be very effective. I might have to go back in there for a follow-up check later, though. That's fine, I suppose. Just don't move stuff around too much. I like to keep a titty back there. Okay, so maybe I can actually purchase now what I need to get, right? That valve. What if I just get out of here and see what happens? Okay. Welcome to, uh, why is that? Where do you went through this? I wonder if he's gonna say anything else now. Well, Shrugs, nobody's ever asked me to justify the claim before. It is because it's only hardware store in the valley. Oh, that's a good one. I'll have to remember that. Oh, that's funny. I was the one who gave him that idea. I'm sure you will. What can I do for you? Outhouse rentals. You're renting outhouses. I mean, you're renting out outhouses. At least I was. Now the indoor plumbing starting to get popular. There's no market for them anymore. Just got the one left. And after that, I'm calling the quits. I'm putting up new ones. Can I read the last one? Uh, sure thing, it'll be... 200 meat up front for the installation and have that each month afterwards for maintenance. So I feel like we probably need this somehow for someone. It's just not for no no reason, right? Um so let's go ahead and pay them. Great. Where do you want me to put it? The pet store. Really? Pet store, haha, you must mean the bait shop. Love that sense of humor we got. Pet worms. Already, I'll get the pit duck tomorrow and have that finished the day after. What else can I do for you? I changed my mind about where to put the outhouse. I'd like to buy one of those new Glaxon valves. Let's do that one. Oh, sorry, uh, fellas bought my entire stock. What? For the big dam they're building. I can order you one, though. How long will it take? Six to eight weeks. Um, would you mind holding one in for me if I'm not back right away? Oh sure, that's no problem. How long do you figure? 11 years. What? No, forget how I say it, that's not a problem. Well, not. Listen, I can tell you they bought a heap more blacks and valves than what they were gonna need for the dam. If you go up their worksite, you might get the foreman to sell you one of their spares. Where is it? 
south and southeast end of the valley, you got a map? Well, I have a postcard. Crystal Dream Lake. I never heard of that, but it's got a little picture of them on it there. See? That's about the same place relative to here. Location life. Okay, we got the damn on it. Great, thanks, buddy. Okay, so we just bought an outhouse. Um, probably for a reason. So I can put it whatever I want, I guess, right? Let's see if he's got any cool things. Mm, that's a good one. Muscle plus 3 physical damage. That's a strong weapon. I should probably buy it. Although we have we have weapons just as strong, so maybe we don't really need it. Okay. Um, I don't know if I need to sell anything or not. I want to learn how to fix stuff. Okay, let's try to exit out. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be anything in the other side of this mirror word. So, he wrote me a dam. You don't know where you are, much less where. Okay. okay so I guess we go back. Nothing really changed. Hello again, what can I do for you? What do you have for sale? No, he doesn't, he's not saying anything else. Okay, so let's see what we got. There's that dam, so that's where we need to go. We'll probably stop on that pet store on the way though. Um, yeah. Alright, let's head to pet store, let's see what that is. Two things which are hard to describe, but let's say they're more or less like smoking holes in space through which you can see the faint light of distant and dying stars float up to you with an air of minutes. The two orbs squint at you and General Bruce's voice echoes inside your head in a way that makes your eardrums itch. There you go, maggot. I had a little hunch you'd be showing your ugly mug around here. Was our last skirmish not enough for a warning for you. The skirmish you ran away from? That was a tactical withdrawal. What happened to the rest of you? No, you did. I'm speaking to you through a secure communications channel. You listen to me and you better listen good. Keep your nose out of our business. I'm just trying to find my uncle. How about you keep your nose out of my business? How dare you take that tone with an officer? Drop and give me 50, maggot. I'll give you 50, alright. Let's go fight him. Oh, I can feel it. Let's, let's do fight him. 50 Malcolm's fight. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, why is he not only fighting? He's so weak. Alright. All the stuff I got. Uh, okay, oh, what is this? Oh, chill. It increases all friendly scarcity and muscle. Yeah, yeah. Once per fight. Let's just do that. I want to see what it does. How I do it. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, that is too funny. Oh my god. Okay, I can still hit him. I'll kill the first one here. Cool. Bastard. Um. Man, she's got strong. Seven XP. If you talk to her sometimes, she like gains like three physical de uh whatever you know. It's cool. Greta's pet store. This is a bee house, not outhouse, so he's, he hasn't built it yet. Oh no, he had to build it. I was in a... I was in the... Um, in the past. Where's my outhouse? There's my outhouse! An outdoor time toilet. Flash yourself to the past. Oh, so that's what it's for, so I'm glad we built it. Well, that's fantastic. Like, I could have put it anywhere I wanted, but I put it here. Alright. Hello. Hey, kitty. I can't panel, unfortunately. Hello there. Welcome to Greta's Compassionate Pet Store. I'm Greta. Hi, Greta. I'm Crispy. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Where are the pets? Uh, they're all back. In cages? No, in the woods. I see. What stops them from living? Compassion. Okay, what pets do you have for sale? Well, I got the snake available for adoption. I've also got one giant mosquito left in stock. Uh, tell me more about the snake. You can go wrong with the world's most dangerous rope. This guy will totally fill your enemies up with poison. Just 150 meat. Ah, oh. so I can have another companion. Did I get snake or not? 
Red is pretty strong. Oh, you know what I bet? I bet that will replace the turtle who is healing me. Mm, I know I should probably keep one only because he gets leveled up as the time goes. Uh, so that probably make more sense to do that. Uh, I don't know. Okay, maybe not for me. What does Mosquito do? Tomboda Mosquito. Yeah, 150 meat. They suck blood out of the stuff, okay. So that's another, you know, uh, opportunity for me to get Mosquito or Snake instead of a turtle, I'm assuming. So that's just good to know for the future. We still got a long time in this game. Uh, what do you do? To, how do you feed this? Oh, you don't have to worry about regular food, they gaze or scavenge for whatever. They're very resourceful. Uh, convenience. If you want to, if you want to soup them up a bit, they'll make them really beefy. I sell some specially formulated, familiar chow. I'm a little uncomfortable with this use of words like soup and beef for the pesto, but okay, haha. Okay. What about the special chow? Mm. She's got three bags of familiar chow left. Familiar chow is specially formulated to beef up your buddies. Want to buy a bag? Yes, just 100 meat, sure. I'll buy, beef up my turtle. Okay, thank you. Mm, Got any chow? Not right now. So I'll probably I'm assuming it's one per um per animal we have. I guess I have all the pets I need right now. So let's do that. Let's go through the chow and use increase familiar muscle by one and max This is made out of same stuff as regular human food, but people, but man, do people get really judgmental about if you eat it? Okay, so let's use it. The back says any familiar can eat it. So familiar is a turtle, I'm assuming. You want to feed it to your sand the turtle? Yes. Sure. Okay, so turtle. Nice. I know it's pretty cheap too. So that's great. Okay, we beefed out the turtle. Good to know. I just want to take this cat. Oh, what is this little hole here? Mouse lives here. You got a she got probably a mouse too. Okay. Live great to, the, to her pets, yes. Alright, so I guess we are heading to the dam. Um, probably something's gonna happen on the way there, it usually does. You find a decaying nightstand, discard it in the ditch, which is kind of weird place to find a nightstand. Greed. Maybe someone got so mad about stubbing their toes all the time that they angrily drove it out to the woods and threw it out of the car. I can definitely relate to that. Let's check it. Oh, we got a battery. That's cool. And an item. Cool, cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, emergency pants repair. Oh, it just adds, uh, adds uh, one physical armor to the pair of pants. Got it. Okay, continue. Good find. I'm sure we need to use battery for something later. Okay, Gabby really likes this, uh, thinks this dam is really, really big, which she is correct. Go fishing. Fish in a sack. Continue fishing. I think I can just sell those. Okay, looks like I got everything, I got fish in the sack, it actually tells me just sell it, so... We can sell it for 8 meat. Pop has a glass valve in it, let's go... Can we just grab that one? But the demo's not gonna be working, right? Yeah, I can grab any one of this. So let's just grab this one, I guess. The valve is held in place by decades of corrosion. Even if you could detach it, I'd get wrecked in the process. <clears throat> Great, so we can't even... We can't even um, grab it, steal it. But what is this? Hey, Chris P, what's up? Gabby has a thing that is important to do and to go and do. What thing? A secret thing. It's a secret for Gabby, but not far near. Gabby will go <clears throat> and then come back. Okay, okay. I guess so. Oh, oh, I'm Gabby now. What in the world? So many mushrooms, so much food. Look at all. Plenty of food for Gabby. Yeah, she's a goblin, right? So she eats mushrooms. Okay, why don't you eat the small ones first? A tall one. Too tall a mushroom. Gabby would grow weird. 
Okay, let's go ahead and eat this one. Look at how big and fat a mushroom. Haha, <laughs> nearly as fat as you will be. Is that it? Nothing happened? The small is still there. Oh, now it went away. Look at this big one here. It doesn't do anything. This mushroom cannot talk, but if it maybe could, it would say, I'm so good for growing goblin, probably. What's this thing? A steaming crack with warmth and moist. This is perfect for to grow and therefore popping, but it's not yet time for that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did we miss a mushroom? We did. Gabby's maximum HP increased by 5. This is fantastico. So this is always good to talk to Gabby once in a while. Gabby the Goblin. Okay, steam and crack. Let's go ahead and grow. Uh, what is happening? Time has passed, but not much. You grew very fast. First spore to grow up big with strength. You get to be the new Gabby now. Aha, I will be so good at that. <clears throat> okay. So now what? Can I go back? The Gabby Gabby's still growing. Get strong, Gabby. Okay, so can we just go back somewhere somehow. Where we came from? What is this? How do I get out of here? Okay, this mushroom is still growing. But I'm um, done, right? For now, I just want to get F out of here. What the hell is going on here? Okay, so all I have to do is press map, uh, M for map, and uh, just I can just go ba back to crisp crispy. Gabby's back. Oh, hey, there you are. Sorry for the wait, but not too long, hopes Gabby. What were you up to? Secret, you seem slightly different somehow. Nope, Gabby is exactly the same as previous Gabby. Okay. Make a small talk, send Gabby to, you know, let's do this. Let's do it. Gabby. Yeah, I can't, um... Smell it? It smells as good as it looks. I can grab any of these valves. Ah, uh, see hobo knowledge. I can't use this. So we'll just have to come back when we talk to hobos, learn some new codes from them. Main access. Okay, so let's go through this door. My goodness. Crystal dream damn something. Climb up and go through. The door's been delivered. That's where we came from. What? Oh, see? I was like in a... There was a I thought there was a truck. Yeah, okay, whatever. Let's see what's inside. Pipe shoes. You gotta pipe shoes. Helps you get around. Okay, this is shoes. Roll with it. Okay, so let's let's switch our shoes, see what let's do. Um pipe shoes. Let's go ahead and equip them. What the heck? This is too funny. Okay. Let's roll them for a while. It's kinda a little bit annoying maybe. Some careless damn worker has abandoned the toolbox here. Their loss is my game. Uh, okay, I got some potion. Plus one physical armor to a pair of pants. We got one of those already. Those fish. Don't want to get my hook stuck. Hook stuck, okay. Hey, Bruce says nobody who ain't on the crew is allowed on the site. Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. A foreman. Lieutenant Bruce. Oh, geez. That man clutches his stomach. Are you okay? Just tiring is all. The rest of the crew went to lunch, but somebody had to stay here to keep all the rubberneckers and look it loose off their side. I drew the short pants. Short pants? Do you mean straw? Nah, we've got these six little pairs of pants we found when we cleared out a nest of theories. I see, can I have them? No, because then we'd have no way of picking who stands guard. Oh man, I can't believe how hungry I am. It feels like I'm gonna turn inside out. What about that table over there that says lunch? 
There's a reason everybody else left on the side to eat, pal. You don't want to eat what Bruce considers lunch. How about it could it be? Is it jellied eels or something? Man, I'd kill for jellied eel. Nah, it's cold. It's old. Cola war MREs. More like... If you ask me. More like what? Meals construction workers don't want to eat. Listen, these hunger pangs are making it hard to concentrate on my jokes. Here, cut me some slack, pal. That sounds awful. Because it's awful. Okay. Offer him something to eat or fight him. Let's just... He's not... Let's just offer him something to eat. Ball of frosty flakes? Um... Let's do the flakes, sure. Uh, he's greedy, devoured, his stomach is still growing, growling. Should I give him everything I have? I'm probably just wasting it, right? Let's have you a little more relaxed. Okay, let's offer more food. Okay. If you had to describe his current mood, you'd probably say he's 60% sleepy and 40% hungry. You can still offer him the guy something new, but you don't have anything. Crap. So we're gonna have to fight him. Uh, are you sure I can think of two reasons not to fight this guy? What are the reasons? The first is that he seems like a pretty decent guy, and the second reason is that while you've been doing whatever it is you've been doing with your life, he's been swinging iron beams around, dr driving posts into the ground with sledgehammers, lugging sacks of concrete and stuff like that. So, probably not even a whole. F uh, so he could probably crush you into a pace with a single finger. Probably not even a whole finger, just one over his knuckles. Okay, fine. You talked me out of it. Okay, so maybe he's a good guy. Let's just walk away. Maybe we can go get him some food. Get him some food. We buy more food elsewhere. And um, come back here. Okay, I can't do those shoes, guys. Shoes, 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 shoes. Uh, let's just see what heavy boots are. Okay, where can we buy something to eat? Mm. Let's go to the bus stop. Let's go back to Ocean City, right? Let's go to this place here. Uh, I don't think there is a food here, right? He doesn't sell food. Hang on. Let me think. Where can I buy food at? Mm. Alright, so here we are at the Snackle Mills, right? So, this is where we... That our kitchen is. We can do some cooking. Let's just do some basic foods. Um, let's just do something probably not very... Uh, what do we have more of? I don't even know. Pals, Energizer Power. Frosty Flakes. We have a lot of those. A powerful, powerful grit. Frosty Flakes. I don't know which I'm what I'm using. Oh, right there, right? Select. Okay. Select. Um, maybe two is enough. Let's go and look. So now we can go back to the bus stop pretty quickly. And we can just go back to the dam. Um... Okay, we're going in, uh, so, uh, so we just encountered, in, in, uh, encountered, encountered, why am I can't, I can't spoke right now? So we just ran into, um, somebody so we can fight them, right? Or just break it up. Very strong, and you better be pretty sure to, sure of yourself, you plan to do something before they notice you. Um, let's just fight them. Very stronger. Oh my god, there are one, two, three, four of them, okay. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have just broke it up. Okay. Ah, uh, there's seven. That shouldn't be too bad. This one is strong, probably. Let's hit this one. No, let's throw a rocking one and then... What is this? Hot food set? Vampire on fire for three. By one. Okay, let's just try to throw a rock at this guy. And let's try to do this to her. 
Uh, should have just blew everything on her. Oh, really? Eight, okay. What the hell? Did he just hug me? Oh, this guy is weak. One HP. It's not a big deal at all. Seven HP. Very good. Very good, Gabby. Okay, that was good. Whatever he just did to me. Should have went for the should have went for the bottom one. Oh never mind. Gabby is freaking strong. My goodness. Alright, this finish this guy. Mon turtle. That's my beard. No, maybe not. Oh, I love that double freaking thing. That's really cool. You gain negative 8 XP, 24 meat, uh, and I got more food. This is really good. All right, so we're back to. Okay, I can't. I can't stand. I can't do those shoes much uh, longer. Let's go ahead and uh, put the different shoes on. Let's do sandals. Let's see what they do. Oh, the sad, the sand. Okay, hang on a second. Nope. Okay, let's offer him some more food. Uh, that. He really devours it. He's almost asleep, but still looks just a little bit hungry. Uh, offer him some to eat. What? He's almost asleep, but still looks just a little bit hungry. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, I still got that. Okay, that's right. What? Is this a joke? Okay. Thanks, but I already had one of those. I can only eat one of a given thing each day. Doctor's orders. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm just gonna fight him. I already wasted so much food though. I think a little bit hungry. Maybe just a little bit less. More. Okay, I guess let's try to go back to um oh yeah. To make some more food, something different. Ah, this guy is so picky. That is crazy. So we're gonna go back to bus stop and uh, go to Ocean City. And we're gonna go back to the um, mills, right? God, this guy is picky. All right, let's go ahead. Give him this fish real quick. What? I didn't kill it. Oh yeah, I did, I did know. Oh, that fishing pool is great. <clears throat> um, now that you don't have any food, my turtle grew up. That's good. One maximum XP, HP, X, yeah, HP. <laughs> okay, it's a potion, it's not food. Okay, all right. So let's go to basic foods again. Um, let's see what we have a couple of energizer power. Powder. Let's do this. Tea biscuit. Okay. Let's see if he wants that. Alright, as I'm going to the back to the dam, I saw another location. Crystals. Crystal Dream Valley Crystal Shop. Um So we have it here. It's a crystal store, cool. And we can buy more food there. Um so we have another location to check out. later okay fantastic okay so we got a bunch of food uh he's finally satisfied and he fell asleep and he gained 25 xp okay now we can go through him Okay, fan fantastic. I got the valve that I needed. That is really, really good. Yeah, so something here. Step inside. The brick. This brick outhouse is extremely well constructed. Let's fish in here.
clean water, great. Can I fish more? No, I can't. Let's fish in it first, then we can flush it. Alright. Plus muscle, okay. It's a hat. Uh, this one looks good. 25 XP. I love bathrooms. And there's a book. Grand combat skill, throw ball, deal 5 physical damage. Let's see if we can read it. We can upgrade it for 100 XP. We have that many, huh? 2 additional damage. So that would be 7 total. That's not bad. Where I can hit him for 7 as well. Hang on a second. What are all the books we have? Books. So. Um, sports medicine. Give the book to the prepare. Okay, so. Uh, what is that? What is that book gonna do? Can be used for further upgrade tape up. I see. Do we have tape up? What is tape up? All right. So tape up, tape up is a heal stagger for five HP. Um, I mean, we have we have the Gabby and the turtle to do that. So let's see what. Let's do the skills maybe first. I kind of wanna get all those basic skills out of the way before I start spending crap ton of XP on upgrading stuff. So, I got 108 at this point. Moxie and ar armor. Uh, I feel like this will do me better. Shredded abs in a fight. Thinking, thinking. You know what? I feel like I should be focusing on this stuff right now instead of getting stronger. Because I'm pretty strong right now. I mean, I haven't lost a fight in a very long time. So. XP from gathering, plus 5 physical armor, so it's like both in one world. Or 2 times my shows from gathering. That's probably pretty freaking handy. Let's go ahead and buy the skill. Yes. Okay. Alright, so that's done. Okay, what shoes do we want? I'm, I'm just, shoes are just pissing me off. What the hell is this? Have I tried this mom already? Oh my god. Alright, so I got my valve. Finally. So we can actually go back to a a hardware store, right? No, where do we get to go? What do we need valve for? The lighthouse. Lighthouse. Let's go to the lighthouse. Buy a soda, maybe five meters. Let's do it. You spend 5 meat. Rusty deals 15 damage to an enemy. Let's see on my way. Okay, I don't know guys. I don't know which uh, shoes is more less annoying. Maybe that one. Uh, I got the valve you asked for. Did you install it? No, I have it right here. Won't do as much good in your hands like that. Go hook it up to the pump outside. Fine, fine. Okay, install the Glaxon valve. Fortunately, the place where it, slot, it slots in is clearly labeled. Okay, great. So now what? Hello again, I installed the valve. I've been watching the water level grow through the window here. Should be dry enough for our purposes now. Come on, come on upstairs. He disappears through the door behind him. Let's go. You want to say anything, Gabby? Oh, see? You got to talk to Gabby here and there. Fantastic. All right. What is this? Welcome to where the magic happens. Magic, sure. Fit, locks. Yeah, old lighthouse keeper joke. So, can I have the compass now? What? No, certainly not. I need that. But you ask if I had an old compass, and I said I did, and I'd show it to you. Never said anything about giving it to you. 
Well, I really need it. So do I. I gotta calibrate this lamp to the north star every so often, and I need a good compass to show me which one is north one. What if I give you a new one? Nope, I said good one. The ones... The new ones aren't, ain't any use at all. Why not? Because of how they change them. What? Change the compasses? They didn't teach you that in school, folks got short memories. It was only around about the turn of the century. Some Atlas company bought the patient on West and rebranded and, and rebranded it to as New North. Then they did a recall on all the campuses and issued a new ones. They all point West now and that's useless to my purposes. Okay. If you can find another pre New North compass in at least as good condition as mine, then sure, I'll swap you. Don't really get what the point of that would be through, though, since you already had one. Well, it's a long story, never mind then. Here, maybe this will help you. Most of the old compasses got radium paint on the dials so you can read them at night. This old Geiger ca counter out of be able to pick up the radiation from that. Geiger counter. Where should I start? Well, most folks consider the old king kind of compass to be trash nowadays, and if I was trash, I'd probably be at the old junkyard. Okay, so we got a new location. Fantastic. Neat things. Bulbs, ask about them. You only use 60 watt light bulbs? Don't need much. Ain't that a bigger lake? Okay, so we got light bulbs, we gotta remember them. Probably need them later for something. Hey, Gabby. Okay, I think I can, I can cook here. Huh. I, can, I could have cooked in this dam, I didn't actually have to go anywhere. To the, uh, you know, back to the uh, ocean city. Stupid idiot me. Okay. So I guess let's go. And we need to go to the junkyard. River, I want to go see what's up with this crystal stone. Maybe, just maybe we'll get like a side quest or something. A huge rotten log is blocking your path through the woods. I mean, well, not blocking per se. It's just a log. It isn't that indefinitely alone or anything. You can go around and just, you know, interrupt you. You know what I mean. Anyway, there is a big rotten log there. Investigate it. Hell yeah. You go around the other side of the log and discover that the shadier, dampier, damper side of it is covered in big weird mushrooms. Neat or gross, depending on how you feel about mushrooms. Grab a big handful of fungus. I know Gabby loves mushrooms. Okay, this, we got another fight. I'm not surrendering, this is so crazy. Gabby, just eat them. Thanks, Sam. Okay. So, ah, this is cool. Throw a piece of. This will not. This will not end your turn. That is cool. Five physical damage. Let's do that. Woo! That's a soccer ball for you. That was cool. Um. Yeah. I guess let's finish this guy. Seven HP. He's so strong now. That is crazy. Bird turtle. Uh, okay, we got a potion and we got a hat, another mushroom hat. Okay, very nice. So we can take another picture somewhere, right? Um, back in the ocean city. Alright, let's go inside this crystal. Crystals, crystal dreamlike store and talk to her. Hello. What do you sell here? What do you think, crystals? Uh, you'd sure think so, wouldn't you, huh? You'd be sure to think a crystal store next to a crystal mine would sell crystals, wouldn't you? Uh, please, you're using too many italics, I can't focus. Uh, let me tell you a little story about a young woman whose name is me. Uh, oh, I love little stories. My parents wanted me to go straight into college, so that's what I did, but college girls are only thinking about one thing, getting a degree so they can work in a mine. I'm not like regular girls guy, I want to sell these things that come out of mine, sure, gases and such. 
So I dropped out and moved across 13 states to the best crystal mine in the country. But the, when I arrived, the mine was out of business. And now so am I. Uh, I even got started. So what are you still doing here? Want me to check out the mine? That's a side quest. So let's go do that. Not asking him to clear out the whole mine, man, but with just a few crystals I can afford to send my whole sorority down there. Okay, I got a new location. Fantastic. I'll see what I can do. Should I ask you something else? Okay. So now we got a side quest. As I was hoping. Okay, so let's check out this new mine she's got. Where is it? Oh, it's right next door. Okay, let's head there. You see a familiar looking person heading towards you on the path. As they get nearer, you realize that the reason he looks so familiar is because he looks exactly like you. Greet him. Hi, you're a clone, or is it time paradox or what? Turns out it's a time paradox, I guess. Wow, crazy, I agree. High five. The two of you literally speak and exchange a friendly high five. Again, 5 XP. Uh, let's wish him luck. Good luck, Amy 2 ta -da -da. I'll have to remember that one. You did. Continue on. Great. 5 XP. Uh, let's see with Gabby. Uh, I'm going to upgrade for anything now. She's not. What is this? Elevator has rusted into a state of total functionlessness. No. Try to open Cobalt. It's a good thing I got it still inside. Not with all those black things. See what's inside here. Flip file flip flops. Makes your steps more organized. Great. Okay. I guess let's go in. Mm, this is past. It's a 1906 calendar. Empty birdcage. Look inside. This version of the cabinet is unlocked. Unfortunately, this version of the cabinet is empty. It's not good. Search the jacket. Gum buckle mine cabinet key. It's a quest item. So I will actually need to probably use this for this mine, so I'm glad I stopped in here. What is this? What? It continues? Oh, this elevator is probably working. Let it down. Okay. No, I'm not writing this elevator back. You guys want to check out the new shoes? I do. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Shine your flashlight in the hole. Your flashlight reveals a sparkly colored crystal inside. Okay. Can I just not take it or what? Wait a second. What the hell is going on here? Why can I do anything here? This cabinet labeled dynamite storage and it's extremely locked. I can't do anything. I can do crap here. It's very unfortunate. Which is very strange. Anything else I can do? I guess not. Nice enough six. Okay. So that was really weird. Uh, let's check out the quest. Exactly what I need to do. Find out the compass, the lighthouse. Keeper gave you a uh, Geiger counter and told you to check out old junkyard near. Okay, what about side quest? What? Wait a minute. Let's go back to Crystal Store. Oh, I'm lacking another question. Grandpa's Joe's Distillery. Fantastic. Uh, let's keep going to where I'm going. Let's finish this real quick. What am I supposed to do here? I'm still looking at it. How is that mine of mine? Break off anything expensive? Ah, I didn't know what to do. Um. Oh, her name is Crystal. <laughs> That's why she wanted to say crystals. Wow. 
Okay, so I'm back to this mine, the old, old mine, right? This support beam is lousy with termites. So here's what we're gonna do. Gonna go back to our real life. All right, we're gonna go to the hardware store. Uh, Gabby's maximum SP increased by five. Okay, this is really good. She's getting strong. All right, ask about termine poison. There we go. There we go. Getting a termite poison. I wish regulatory agency made me stop selling it a few years ago back because it was quote unquote killing everybody who used it. So more of a everything poison then. Wicked good for termites though. Okay, so let's take my leaf. Um, so let's go back to this old store, right? Hey, buddy. And what else do we have for sale? Okay, that's unfortunate. There's nothing here. I thought I was onto something. This is really, really weird. Because the first one, the new one, the real time one, offered me termite poison. Wow, look at this. There it is. This shelf is laden with dangerous pesticides that you're pretty sure were banned years ago. Among them, you see a mason jar filled with oily brown liquid. It has handwritten labeled termite poison. Let's ask him about it. 22 meat deal. Okay, we got that. It's a spray. Don't get over your skin, he says. Fantastic, we got the termite poison. Let's get out of here. Go away. Okay, so let's go back to the mine. Blue cola by soda. This is a potion. A maximum AP by one. Nah. Check the meat return slot. What is that? Wow. Oh. Hey, the meat return has a five meat in it. Lucky break. Oh, that's great. Continue on your way. I don't want to buy soda. All right, so we're back at this mine. Um, let's go back in time. Back to this elevator. Aha! Close it down with chemicals. They're gone. The support beam is now termite free. Shine your flashlight in the hole. Is that it? What else? What else? Why? What else can I do here? Hmm. Maybe we need to go to the real uh, time now? No, we still can't do it. Interesting. Ah, uh, maybe I missed this. Look, this cabinet is clearly locked. Now I got that key, right? So I can unlock it. Click, open the cabinet. Can of elevator grease. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay, so now let's go back. Grease the elevator. It's too far gone for grease to help at this point. We really hope somebody got fired for doing such a terrible job of taking care of this elevator. Do I still have the grease? Yes. So we probably, probably need to go back to the old time again and grease it. Yeah, give it a grease. Uh, this thing will run like a charm for at least 22 years. Okay, so let's go back to the real world. Okay, this looks definitely different. Look at this crack here. There's a big crack in the wall here. There's one of those fancy mining helmets on this table. Let's grab it. Fantastic. We got a mining helmet. Okay. An extremely enthusiastic rat has chewed a hole in this 
solidly locked solid steel cabinet. Reach it. 22 year old stick of dynamite. Alright, quest item. This is great. So I need to blow this up. Stick the dynamite in it. Light it up. Oh boy, watch out. You've seen some disappointing explosions in your life, but that one really failed to even make a dent in the cake. This rock must be made of toughest stuff that relatively fresh stick of dynamite can handle. What the heck? Turn your flashlight in the hole. Nothing, huh? What is going on? What am I missing now? Okay, I got another dynamite. Let me try this again. Yeah, so I don't know. Okay. Um, what if... What if we go back to a different time? The old time. We've come so far. Oh, I bet this got to be. That's got to work. Oh, I don't have any matches now. I used all my matches. Oh my goodness. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, I gotta find a store to buy some matches now. All right, so hardware store has a match. So let's just uh, let's just buy one. Yeah. Let's just buy one. Okay, so let's go back and on my way to the hardware store cave, I got a hardware store. I found, I discovered another location, it's called Cave. 13 meat, fantastic. Okay, so let's try this again. There we go. Finally, 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 finally. We're gonna get some crystals. All right, so let's go ahead and check out this new crystal I got. You've blown uh, up, up, exposing a huge variety of crystals. You should go let crystal now. Okay, so I can't even really take them with me. Interesting. Okay, where's crystal? She's right here. Uh, you see a familiar looking person heading towards you on the path. As they get near you realize that the reason he looks so familiar is because he looks like you. Again, I already met this guy. Let's go approach him. Crazy, I gained 5 XP. Nice. High five. Okay, we give high five to each other. And a good luck. Great. I like those um, quick meets. Okay, Crystal. How's that mind of mine? Break off anything expensive? Yes, in fact. Yeah I, yeah, I did. Well, that's just great. Hang on a minute. She leaves and comes back an hour later with two big armloads of crystals. You just give me a couple of hours and I'll give you a fully functional crystal shop now, okay? What should I do in the meantime? Got some old magazines here somewhere. Oh yeah, here they are. Read magazines for a couple of hours. Okay. I got 20 XP. <laughs> crystal initially taps on your shoulder. All set now. Don't suppose you want to make a purchase. Uh, you know, this magazine's fascinating. What did I just get? I got a quest item. Twinkling Crystal Statue. You remember when the very idea of this crystal has no more than a twinkle in Crystal's eye. Um, I'll check out the good stuff later, maybe. Uh, thanks. What else do you have in stock? Okay, she actually does sell stuff. She does sell freaking crystals. It's an offhand item. Okay, we have those, right? Uh, they have... She has hundreds of them. Kill your entire party for your mysticality once per fight. So, I see. Okay, great to know that's here, in case we need this ever. Uh, we probably will. So, let's get out of here and um, let's see what's up next. So we did the side quest, right? New side quests, we don't have any. We still have to find the compass um, and I need to head to the junkyard to do that. That's the main quest. Rebel is to check out this cave and distillery before we go there. 
Okay, this guy doesn't... He's talk, talking like Arabic or something. Uh, let's go and fight, I guess. Wow. He just... What? He just hit me for 9 HP. Wow. My goodness. Alright, let's uh, throw a rock. What is this again? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. That's like for bo big bosses. I haven't run into big bosses yet. Well, one, the shadow face, right? Alright, let's try to finish this guy, I guess. <clears throat> mm. I could finish him pretty quickly, but that'll be a waste of some HP. So let's just do this. Boom. What, what just happened? Thanks, Turtle. That Turtle is awesome. I don't care what anybody says. I don't want to trade it for anything as of now yet. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can just get rid of this person. Whatever that thing is. Oh, I can't. Um, what? What? <clears throat> Turtle. Alright, I think we can finish him now. Again, 7 XP, fantastic. Okay, so we're in this cave. Uh, what is this? Pull some off and fight them, I guess. This is a huge withering mass of fungus. Okay, let's go fight it. Mm, they're not so tough, I don't think. Yeah, I forgot about the ball, right? Five, that's good. <clears throat> and she just eat it. Eat the damn mushroom. Okay, and um I just throw um wait. Throw that at her. Okay? And then we can just kill him. Fantastic. <clears throat> I got a mushroom spear. Deals your muscle plus three physical damage. That's a good one. Melee weapon. I got AXP for it, and I got an item. It's a potion. Turtle, turtle. Excellent. Okay, so now what? Pull some more and fight them. I just. What? Oh, there's more mushrooms in there. I see, there's different enemies here. Okay. Goodbye. Mushroom cap. It's a hat. Uh, and a potion. Good. Okay, more fights, huh? I guess let's try this again. Can I just fight them forever or what? I don't get it. Is this getting any smaller? I can't really tell. Gabby, what do you say? Nothing much. Alright, so I keep fighting, fighting, fighting. This thing is not getting smaller. The enemies got a little bit harder. I keep getting gaining XP's, XP's, and definitely my characters are, well, especially my turtle, are leveling it up. So, I mean, I've been doing this for like probably 10 minutes or so. So, I got 220 XP now. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just buy this skill that I wanted to buy. Um, I guess we can start like from the very beginning. We still got. So we got uh, 170. So let's just go ahead and get this one right now. Um, and I've got 95 left, which soon I can buy this one. So um, really cool stuff. Okay, so I can I think I can come back here and level up if I need to any time. So that's the cave for you. So now let's go to Distillery, right? It's a other place we haven't been to yet. Sandwich Trial Museum. Sure, let's go there now. Right there. Okay, there's a couple different houses. Um, let's go start with the first one. Some kind of jar, see what's for sale. Okay, sandwich cream. Interesting. Sandwich cream and a rubber paper. What would I need that for? It's a quest item. 
potion. Rub and paper. This special piece of paper is for making rubbings of historical graves and such like that. Thanks to our adv advancement in rubbing technology, you don't need any charcoal or anything. This is a quest item, so I think we should go ahead and buy this. Fantastic. That one is potion. I'm doing pretty good in freaking fighting, so I don't know if I need to be really using any potions. What did I feed you, buddy? Empty dish, that's unfortunate. So, I don't know um, if I can just buy milk somewhere or something with water. Actually, milk is bad for cats. Um, what's all this stuff? Take a look. You need ragdoll. Antique ragdoll. <coughs> this ragdoll has a bunch of old pins and needles stuck into it, and for some reason has the word boring embroidered across its front. So, is it a wood doll? The little plague on the front of the plinth says witches frequently use special dolls called puppets to curse their enemies. Yeah, wood doll. This one was apparently made to target Mrs. or Miss Boring, though no one of that name is listed in the town records. And then in tiny text, the bottom plague. The pins were not found with the puppet, but were added for demonstration purposes. Okay, very interesting. Um, we got an old book, let's take a look. It appears to be someone's diary. Oh yeah, a little description on the front of the plane says Diary of Delia Putman. So that confirms that. Mostly it doesn't look interesting enough to be worth deciphering the archaic handwriting and spelling. So if you flip ahead to the last page, 6th of March 1692. I hate that Peter Proctor so much. He thinks he can just go around being as mean as he wants to everybody just because he has lots of money and lives in a big house and all I should have used as a much stronger curse. It would have been worth the trouble. Hey buddy. Welcome to the Putman house. Please don't touch the exhibits. Excuse me. Do Sorry sir, I just get paid to stand here and keep an eye on things. I don't actually know anything about the exhibits. Okay. So I don't know if I can use this thing, it's just a museum, right? Well, let's get out of here. Uh, let's see if Gabby's gonna... No, she's gonna level up this time, okay. We got a well, we can fish in it. You got some meat, what? Really? And actually, I want to... What? I'm still fishing? You really want some cash? More meat. I like it. Okay, so I kind of want to take a look at my weapons. How is that fishing rod doing? See, it's almost dead too. So I have two fishing rods. And this one is a badass one, but it's basically there as well. Which is not nice, but we have, you know more um, spears, like, but we can't fish with them, unfortunately. I'm gonna equip that and use the fishing rods to actually catch some fish. This sign is written in rough black wax. Today is the re trial of Patricia Williams, who stands a coos. The rest of the sign is too weathered and decayed to read. Okay, nothing else is interesting in here. Nice gazebo. Okay, what is that? Is it a park? This leads to the little symmetry behind the church. Okay, wait a second. Mm, might as well check this out first. Okay, rest in peace, rest in peace. Peter Prod Talk. Okay, let's we'll start, we'll start at the very beginning. Translated. See hobo again, hobo. Okay, so I wrote it down to come back here um, to um, when I get stronger, when I get more uh, hobo language. Okay, that's it. Some buckets in the bottom.
chessboard left out to display. We got some plants. Check the footnote. It has been pointed out to us that this RS is unlikely to have been manufactured in the capital of the past the Calais Department of Northern France and therefore is merely, merely a sparkling tapestry. Okay, nothing interesting here. Let's go upstairs. Hello? Okay. So nothing special, right? So far, that we need to do here. Oh, can we still go up? These stairs just keep going up until they hit the wall. Great. Well, let's get out of here, Gabby. A value stop of it. A more, a more modern convenience has been provided to your modern convenience. Let's go in. We can probably fish in here. Wait, flush it. Let's fish in first. So let's get my weapon out. Mm, got plenty of mushroom spears. Let's take this one, I guess. Aha, fishing it. <laughs> that is too funny. Okay, I got another hat. Great. Flush it. 30 XP. Is this the same one? Yeah. This is the same, um. Same one. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it. That's it for this. Well, let me uh, just switch my weapon before I forget. Back to our uh, martial spear. I think that's a good one. That was a cello one that I had too. It's basically the same thing. Let's keep using the cello maybe. I mean, use it up, I guess. I would like to find another fishing pole if I can. Alright, so let's get out of here and let's go to the Sturley, finally. We'll find another. Dodge out of the way. Uh, I was looking through the woods around Chris Price. Aha, that's a huge spider. Okay, we found a spider, so dodge it out of the way. Fantastic, 8 XP. Okay, so we got 8 XP. That means we have 153 now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this guy. By the skill. Yes. I got me shredded abs. Uh, 200, those are kind of expensive. A uh, spooky looking lady is guarding the front of the old distillery. Approach her. She glances to your approach and her eyes flashing blood red. Be gone from this place. You have no business here. No, not really, no. I'm just a curious sword. How do you make your eyes do that? Do what? Also, I like your non quiet Romanian accent. Oh, thank you. What's with those huge vampire fangs, though? Wait a minute. Are you a vampire? I feel like as if I said no, you'd actually believe me. Well, not anymore. Okay, then. Yes, I'm a vampire. Gosh. Leave this place at once or consequences will be most desired. Okay, so she's being mean. Should I go um, intimidate with her with my strength? Let's do that. Aha, uh -huh, 6 SP. Yeah, she is. She's a scared. She's a scared one. She escapes into a hole in the side of a building. Okay, I probably could have got more uh, XP and stuff with the 5 footer, but that's okay. We can crack this. Head inside. We got a crate of vodka. It's a quest item. Great. Make some potions if we need to. Got it. I uh, see, we need hobo. Okay, I marked this as well. So we'll have to come back here. Oh my goodness. They definitely have to fight me. Okay. I don't want to step away. Because I want to go through them. So since there are four of them, I can go ahead and use this guy here. Which will deal three physical damage to all of the enemies. And myself. But that's alright. Boom. Oh, this, one, this guy only took one. This vampire. They're all vampires here. This one has no body. Strange. Why is this one so special? He needed two on fire, so I can use one of those. Okay. Let's try to take him out first. Mm, five, eight. Let's let me hit her first, maybe. Maybe I can kill her right away. 
Oh, 14, my goodness, all right. You're just beating Besser? Sure, rock him. Good job. Poor bleed, man. They're really doing damage on me. My goodness. Okay, so uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna throw a soccer ball at this guy. Only three, huh? And hit him with a cello. This cello is strong. Oh, they actually killed me. <laughs> Crap. I still won. <clears throat> Cosmetic wine, potion, and I got more food. I got blood all. 7 XP. Okay. Left empty. We got more fights to do. Oh. Why can't I open this? Five stench armor. Let's see. So I only have two stench armor just because of the accessory I have on. I don't have any food or potions to increase it. I just looked. And I went through my items. I kind of opened a couple of uh, wallets I found. And I got a bunch of more money. Like a 300 meat. So I got 961. So we need to go to hit up the store soon and kind of see what we can buy. But I need to basically write this down. I need five stand charm and come back here. Okay, so let's go and fight. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them now. I fought six before in the, on that mushroom cave. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this. That's a good product, I really like that. Um, let's go ahead and hit him with a cello. Let's go and knock him out. Yes. Okay, they just summoned somebody else. Um, let's try to finish them. Seven, I should, should be hit seven, right? No, not those. Not the vampires. Okay. Mm, what is this again? Increase all friendly characters' muscles. Okay. Um, I can set somebody on fire, right? I'll just throw a soccer ball hidden. There's only three physical damage. And now, now let's not whack her. Let's whack, let's whack one of them. Cause I can kill him. Yeah, sure. Okay, so this guy will just die. Mm. Yeah, let's just let's throw a racket her, a soccer ball, a big ball. Oh, fantastic! Killed him. Uh, now we're done. Chill is awesome. Again, 12 XP, vampire skull cap, cosmetic wine, excellent. Yeah, but still. Bang on it. This drum is almost certainly empty. It jumps. Yeah, nothing. It is empty. Let's see what's in there. Okay, I got an accessory and I got a ring. Free for all deals two additional damage. I don't think I have free for all. Grab it. I got a crate of gin. Forest oh, item. Great. Cosmetic wine. More food. Vampire boots. Makes you float like a spooky vampire. Let's try that out. Shoes, 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 shoes. Vampire boots. Oh, at least it doesn't make any noise, like annoying noises, so that's a good thing. Okay. What? What? Hang on a second. Wow, maybe it wasn't prohibition that put this place out of business. Why can't I do this valve anymore? Maybe because it will probably open up and something something would steam up on those enemy I had earlier or maybe this is shoes I had what the heck what shoes did you just have on is it the crab ones oh yeah no more huh weird okay so let's go back to the shoes and let's trip into vampire boots again and let's float out of here squeeze through what you can Oh, I got this. I can either use the door or this path. Interesting. Okay. I think that's it, right? For this early. 
I wish I can find stuff from the trees. I know we learned that from the cathedral. Okay, where to next? I guess let's go to junkyard and uh, try to find that compost or whatever. Blue cola, buy soda. What does this do? Potion. No, this one sucks. Check the meat return slot. I got five meat. Fantastic. Okay, nice junkyard we got. Pull it out. A heated fishing rod cooks on trash from the inside. Oh, I got a hot rod. Let's see what that is. Fantastic. Deals him. Okay, plus two hot damage. I'm not sure what two hot damage is. Let's equip it and find out. Grab it some shine in here. I got a ring. Renders you mean to poison. Why am I clicking? Interesting. We got some flies in here. Uh, stench armor, I don't have that. This pile of trash smells much more than the other piles. Okay, let me write this down. Okay. Oh, there's somebody in there. He probably needs my help. Howdy, I'm Beanie. Hi, Beanie, I'm Crispy. What are you up to? I'm trying to get this stove so I can haul it back to our hobo camp outside of Ocean City. Oh, you know about that camp? Yep. I'll be cooking up a mess of beans once I get the stove back. Okay, help him. I'll ask him about the hobo code. Knowledge increased. I wonder what it is now. I don't know how to look it up, but we'll find out. Let's help him out. Okay, fantastic. See you around, Bini. So our hobo code increased. That is very good. I needed that. I needed that increase. Search it. We have that armor. I have enough. Come on, way to go. Where did that go? Where did that crap? Oh, it's here. Nasty spoon. Magical weapon. Okay. No, I'm not gonna get away yet. So, there's a hole here. Let's go in here, enter it. It turns out that this garbage dump is much deeper and older than initially appeared. Huge rooms and tunnels have been carved out of the trash, like the worst archaeological dig imaginable. Weirdly, it seems like the trash caves are home to a swarm of large, beautifully colored butterflies. You move towards them slowly, so to not startle them, and as you get closer, you realize that instead of having regular insect bodies, they're little people. Theories, wow, read them. Hello, guys. They're really beautiful. You're beautiful. Aha, uh -huh, that sounds just like my voice. Are you guys mimics? That's really cute. Ah, uh, it's on my face. Oh, they're attacking me. Oh no, maybe. I don't know. You spot away a fairy that had fluttered up next to you and attempted to stab you in the neck with a resin <laughs> needle. Hell, okay, I'll be on my way. Look out, Jim, that one got a gun. Indeed, another fairy is approaching, lodging a full sized. Snap, nose, revolver, and its little arms. Hello, beautiful. Run. Okay. Am I gonna fight here? There's a shovel. Take it. I got me shovel. We're digging, so we can dig some stuff up. No, no, no. Let's go back. Well, get rid of these guys. One, two, three, four, five of them. Okay. Well, we know what to do, right? We're gonna use this free for all. Oh. I just got something that makes my free-for-all better. And I said, I don't have free-for-all in all of this, didn't I? Stupid idiot me. Okay. This one is strong. Okay, so... Hit very explode for the hot rod for 5 hot damage. Let's see what that does. My goodness. She's doing turtle? Oh, it's not turtle, it's me. I'm, um, why am I? I don't want to hit turtle. Hang on. Three. Bring your ship. Yeah, she hits for seven. What just happened? What? They healed? Healed who? This guy healed somebody? My goodness, let's get rid of him now. 
bastard. Okay, Fairy Charm, Accessory, Magical Weapons Attack, uh, Fairy Dust, Increases Spooky Armor, Turtle leveled up, fantastic. I don't know if I really like that weapon I have. Let's do the Cello again, Cello was amazing. Zimmer's Cello clip. Alright, so we can go here, right, if we need to. Anything here? What am I holding? Like a, is it a shovel I'm holding that I found? There's a loose coat hanging around here, grab it. Wire coat hanger, that's good for something, I can remember what it's for, because I used one already. Unlocking something maybe? Gosh, this is... a maze. Oh, this is. Okay. Ah, uh, free falling it upgraded, I'm gonna upgrade this. Okay, which one is a tough one? Hit him with the cello. Um, sure. Fantastic. Okay, which one was add stuff to free for all? Alright, this is a tough one. So it's a ring, right? It does the free for all does two additional damage, which is good, but the toilet ring is really really good. It starts at the start of a combat poison all enemies for two. So I think this one is a little better, so I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, so what do we wanna go first? Let's go to the right. Do we see any more hangers or anything like that? Alright, let's go to the right first. Boom. Mm, five. One is the toughest one here. They're all five, right? Alright, there's no wizard here, so he does he's not gonna heal anybody. He does not have a hit. Thank you, Turtle. Uh, let's throw a rock at this person. Now we can just hit this one. Uh, Fairy Starwind deals your mysticality plus three physical damage and reduce targets. Uh, it's a magical weapon. We got a combat item, and we have a food item. Fantastic, or excellent, like let's say. Where did we come from? Get from here, right? Okay. Who's this? Talk to. A food from a big statue. Okay. Talk to. Really? I got a powerful grit, and it's a powder. Okay, and I got five XP. Great. This is a freaking maze. Kick it. What the hell? Well, I'm up to it, really. More freaking paths? Crazy. What the hell? Where the heck am I? I haven't been here, right? Yeah, this is like a... No, I don't want to leave. What? Where did I come from then? That's crazy. Ah, uh, maybe this one was always closed and I just kind of kicked it out. Now let's go back in here. Okay. So let's go back. And now... Let's go to the the one on the left. I've got a sign, but I can't take it. Oh, translated. Hang on, hobo code. What? Do, look at that. It's a hobo code. Yeah, I recognize it. Ten XP. The code reads, "What is junk, really?" Wow. Oh my God, seven of them. Really? No, eight now. Look at that. 
Eight enemies. That is the most I've ever seen. Okay, so definitely use this guy here. At least he killed all of them, that's crazy. Uh, let's whack this one and kill him, hopefully. What? What? Which one is a healer? Hang on, this one. I think this one healed somebody, right? Yeah, we need to get rid of this guy first. Kill my freaking servo. This is gonna be not an easy fight, I don't, I don't think. Okay. Mm, any more healers? I don't think so. Okay, let's whack him. I uh, know I'm whacking them for 10, right? So who is going to die of what? Seven, six. Let's whack him. Oh, I can. Hang on. I can throw a rock and then whack him. So this one is 11. Mm, okay, let's do a soccer ball. And um, just whack him. <clears throat> 13. What? You, did you, she shot me with a gun? That is crazy. Try to get rid of him. Sound great. Alright, so let's learn first. We want to remove the healer, and healer has like a magic wand with him. Uh, I can just throw this and kill it. And then I can just whack him. Finish him off. Mushrooms are not really that scary. Yeah, 2 HP. Pfft. Okay. I got an item Fairy Skull Wand. Um, magical weapon deals your muscularity plus 3. That's a different one. Decent one. I got some cheese and my turtle grew stronger. Great. I already translated this. The heck? 240 meat, seriously. Hang on, hang on. Let's try to fish on this one first. No, I can't. I can fish on this one now. Wet fez, a hat. Okay, we need to uh, look at our accessories to see if whatever we can put on better soon. So let's go ahead and get the Marcello. See, 15 out of 21 now. It's crazy. They break, they're gonna break soon, but it's okay, let's just wear it until it breaks because we got other weapons just as strong. Uh, what? Splash? Hot bath. Oh, that's a fact. Fantastic. One muscle? This is great. That was fantastic. Anything else? Splash is 25 XP. Fish the water. We can do that now. Continue fishing. Nice to do. Combat item. Okay, looks like I got everything. What? Okay, is that it? I think that might be it. I got the piggy, right? Yeah. I don't know if I need to go through here or I can just make an exit out of it. Or switch to my map. Wait a second. What is this belt here? Oh, maybe I haven't beaten this one yet. Um, oh, look at that healer. So, I need to get rid of him first. Okay, wasn't much of a fight. We got a knife. We got a cake. 7 XP. 
Uh, we can upgrade anything at 174. Yeah, we can. Hang on. Which one do I want to go with? At this point, I don't really care. I don't think it really matters. Uh, I don't really care about meat right now. I got so much money. Let's go with this one. Sure. Hamstrings. What? Ringing this bell would certainly steer up some uh, energy theories. Uh, so I can fight here anytime I want to as well, too, probably, right? Hmm. So we got two places we can fight anytime, I think. I guess I can fight a few times and see what happens. Alright, I'm not gonna stick a lot to run, I just found one more fight, so let's squeeze through this thing. Um, something? What? What the heck? Come on back here. Oh, what? Oh, whoa. Here we go. Here's that compass, right? Click, click, click. That's what I was using. That was clicking. That's the that freaking guy or whatever that device was clicking. I got an old compass. Quest item. Now back to the lighthouse. Okay, let's go back to the lighthouse. Uh, one of the side wolf to the side of the path, you see a squirrel with its tail stuck under the big rock feet. Great. Okay, old man. Where's the guy at? I sure did. I got it. Okay, uh, what do you think? I uh, could use a polish, but it seems to be in good condition. Alright, I'll swap you. Let me get that old gagger counter back from you. Sure, no problem. Get alone now. I got important nothing to take care of. Alright. It's great. Bulbs. Okay, so now what? Um, let's see, I don't think I have any side missions, right? Nope. Go back to the antique store and tell Jessica you found a compass. Okay, let's go back to the antique store. Uh, that's back in the uh, Ocean City. Jessica. Oh good, not too much of an ordeal, ordeal, I hope. I could uh, could have been worse, I guess. There were some horrible theories. What? No, don't tell me, just uncruise that thing and then get some rest. Okay, I think the next artifact is a book. I'll have the location narrowed down by morning, sounds good. Okay, don't need to uncruise, yeah, don't need to uncruise this, right? Hey, can we beat Jessica yet? Spooky Armand, hang on a second. Mm. Yeah, we need stench armor. I don't think we can. Hot armor. Yeah, we're not strong enough yet. Hang on a second. So, I really didn't need to do anything. Really, just points north. It's useless. It's an accessory. The compass curse is now transfixed in its uncursing machine. Uh, it's still in the machine. Um, there you project your... Yeah, I guess so. No, I do have to go and solve these puzzles again. Okay. This is madness. That foolhardy coach is gonna get us all killed. We should listen to what coach has to say. What do you think we have to do? He's the one. Like him or not, he's our coach. We gotta listen to what he has to say. People say not to change horses in midstream, but what if the horse is trying to get you bashed in the head with a baseball? That's a horse worth changing. And trust me, I know from horses I saw one once. What do you think we ought to do? Uh, let's get out of here, go home. Don't you think things were just fine the way they were? What are we, why are we doing this? I mean, playing baseball? He looks you dead in the eye and then just a uh, nervy chuckle. Yeah, that's right, kid. All right, we'll see ya. Okay, we do. Why is this guy laying down? He looks sore. I think Coach is taking... They're taking some beatings. I'm disgusted that it's come to this. We, uh, we all know you're the weak link on the team. 
some would say the team accountants shouldn't even be allowed on the field, but you tell me, did all my years of inclusion on in the team lunches and burpees make you into baseball player? Yes, we don't hit, hit the balls. My question from the camera was the only way. Yeah, yeah, number one. Yes, coach, I'm ready to hit the balls. That's what I want to hear. Your destiny is out there on the diamond. Some go and hit it into parking lot. Say, coach, why'd you wear a funky looking hat? Nothing funny about this, son. It's a clutch. Um, clutch, hair, maybe? The c c coach's clutch. Hey, it's traditional. Yeah, coach, you'll think Mirabel will ever marry me. Can't answer that, son. All I can tell you is that Mirabel has married every World Series MVP since the series was first contested in 1903. You work out the rest. Excuse me, coach, I gotta hit something. Okay. Anything else, coach? No. These guys are not talking. Okay, so I got the. What? Really? Actually, I gotta hit the ball? Oh. Spiced, okay, so what the heck. Like I'm, I hit some of them, maybe. Not that one. But hey. Come on. Yeah, I think I hit that one. Two hundred. What's the point in this? I don't see a point in this. Okay. Yeah. It's not working out, coach. It's just not working out. There's no talk to the baseball sound. Get out of here. What's, what's with this compasses? Uh, coach, my swing won't connect with them. I know it must be overwhelming. All I can tell you is to stay calm and remember that in baseball it's all about what you do hit. Why the other team's getting points when I swing? That's baseball, son. If the other team ever feels physically intimidated, that's an uh, automatic five points penalty. Then how am I supposed to win at all? Quit gabbing and get back out there. Don't you know I'm leaving the field to talk to the coach is a ten point penalty. Excuse me, coach, I gotta go hit some compasses. Hit one, come on. One more time, coach. It's not working out. I don't want to get it. This is madness, I agree. See, I feel like I hit it. Is that what's the score got to be? Freaking 1,000? This makes no freaking sense. I don't freaking know. Oh my god. Sansa, number one boy, you did it. You son of a gun. You won, you won the whole damn game. Did I really do good, coach? Look at the scoreboard. It's zero to hole. That's where the whole ball game. Couldn't done it without you. <laughs> right. Uh, now get over here, champ, and fuck her up because here comes uh, Coach's big sniff. What? What is going on? Okay. I got an upgrade. What? And the cursed compass. Okay. So accessory. 
Uh, plus 25 to all two item drops and two mid drops. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. I was never scared of this compass. <laughs> Alright. Mm. He's gonna say anything else? Anything you know? He's not. I still probably can't, um, yeah, can't win with her yet. Jessica's too good. You'll check a message pad next to the phone. That's why you not call Dom T with a phone number. Call the mob back, sure. Hi Dom, it's me, Crispy. Are you recipientated my missive? Commendable. Yeah, what's up? There is an assignment for which I require performance. Oh, yeah, an assignment. Fantastic. I'm glad you are the comedic sort. You want to kill? You want me to kill someone? No way. There's a oh, it's really near the Crystal Lake. Yeah, Grandpa Joe's distillery to be precautious. It was abandoned when prohibiting began, albeit with its liquor manufacturing equipment intact. A group of contra positive to our own has claimed it as a territory, and we wish these bloodsuckers to be evicted with extreme justice. So, so you want me to give the bombs rush to a bunch of real mobs, mob goons? There's no underground criminal organization that revolves our own in this vicinity. When I say bloodsuckers, it is my intention and that you will observe in that phraseology a high degree of literalness. This group of to which I reference are Nosteratu. Oh, you mean the actual vampires? Affirmative. They have been pain in our necks for quite an expensive period of time. Oh, I appear to have inadvertently voiced another bitikism. Well, as it happens, I already been to that distillery and dealt with all the vampires. Well, that's a wonderment of news. You anticipated uh, the needs of our organization and overtook the intivation to accomplish them to your own recognizance. recognizance. Well, no, I just have... Uh, wait, I mean, yes. Yes, exactly what I did. I can plainly observe that you will go far in this line of vacation. Your payment will be delivered to your bedroom. Alright, bye. So, I already done that. Take a look at my bedroom. Charles flagged you down. I got some applicants for the new storefront I fixed up over there on the other side of Cola War Supply Store. Got a second to pick one up? Sure thing. The first applicant's text instrument. Guy from Texas selling instru musical instruments, I suppose. <laughs> That's funny. The second is advanced pants. It doesn't say what they plan on selling, but I have to assume it's pants. And the last applicant is Jardware's hardware. I guess if your name is Jardware, your options of rhyming business names are pretty limited. I like the sound of the instrument store, hopefully, huh? But mm. well, we already got one hardware, so let's go to the pants store. I'll go to the pants store, okay. I'll get them moved in and get the next storefront ready for applicants. Thanks, Charles. Thanks, buddy. You put the crystal crystal gave you on the shelf. Is that clear? Crystal. Uh -huh. Take a look. Rob the crystal. Look away. Let's rob the crystal. Okay, we got an effect. Plus three to magical weapon attacks. Great. What else is here? Where's my payment first? Crispy, the quality of your work at the distillery has been noted as excellent. We'll contact you in a telephonural manner with other opportunities. DT, you got a nice briefcase full of meat. Okay, let's open it up. We hunt it. Holy moly, this is fantastic. Okay, so we I should probably go around and like equip the best stuff, better stuff here in a minute. Um, you ready to make transition from crystal dream to regular dreams? Okay, one second. Okay, so um, get some sleep. Side quest you don't have any currently. Okay, I still got to. I got some of these stories, right? So we'll just go to sleep and see what happens. <clears throat>
Okay, I'm dreaming again, I believe. Another dream. Wait a minute. One of these skulls is yours, and it's missing its teeth. Give it one to your carrion. Uh huh. No tongue, quest item. You're not sure what it is, but you're sure what it isn't. Okay. Got a quest item. One of them is skulls with me, with no teeth. Participate! The woman scowls at you, you'd better have some good news from me, Bruce. The good news is I'm dreaming, let me give you the bad news first. No. <laughs> yeah? Everything is going to according to plan, Madame President. Good, the damn project is complete. That is what I said, this isn't me, who am I? Who am I? The engineers say it's generating enough power on now and those eggheads now know better than the crossmate. And what about the inter... what? Fear, anger, regret. To what now? Confusion. My troops will find him soon. We know his last name is Bacon, a relative of that rat Morris. Oh, they're talking about it. So that's not about me. The president's frown deepens. Any relative of Murray Morris is an enemy of ours. Find him and get him out of the picture. 10 4, Madame President. Okay. Crispy bacon, I got another effect. Great. In my dream. Alright, good morning. This is my room. Alright, so... Uh, wait. Uh, wait, was this flower pot always here? Plant a tentacle seed in it. Tickle him. Hey, my little technical buddy. Okay, cool. So maybe that's my pet now. Morning, Crispy. How are you feeling? I'm fine, I guess. I've been having weird dreams. Oh, like the one where you're driving a car, but you're in the back seat and can't reach any of the controls. I can remember really clearly, but I think it was a weirder than that. I really hate that one. Anyway, I found the next cursed thing. It's a hardcover book about big, and it's somewhere on the campus of the Seaside Institute of Technology in. Or cam. You ready to go? I haven't even had my coffee yet. I'm sure you'll be able to find coffee when you get there. They probably invented some kind of high powered science coffee or something. Alright, alright, but do you have a map of the place? No, but it's college campus. It can't be that hard to find your way around. College students do it all day. The bus to Porkham leaves from usual stop. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, what is this smoke in here? It's always been like that, yeah, it has. Uh, Gabby makes more talk now. She's not gonna level up yet. Oh, I got more messages. There's a note for you called Don T. Okay, call the map back. Uh, hey, Don, it's me. Kudos. Uh, completion of the previous assign assignation. You're welcome, is that all? In fact, I have another item of business to be attenuated, which I believe to be suited marvelously li li to one of your skills. Which one? Uh, I mean, with regardlessly, we require that you proceed a pace to Crystal Dream Lake, wherein lo he's located at uh, Prevere Tools and Implements of Construction. Say again, you might vernacularize is at hardware store. All right, you guys run out of cement or something. We have a necessity to that you will perform up on this place of business that we categorize as shakedown. They owe you meat. No, we are merely de serious that the local Commercialos retail in Pora feel of measure of intimidation. He's French, so that's why he speaks like that. Okay, I guess I can handle that. Or Italian, something, something like that. Okay, so is that under side quest? Yeah. Dante wants you to shake down the proprietor of Valley Hardware. Valley Hardware. Okay, let's go. Alright, so wait, this is new, right? Wait a second. What's happening? Who is this? Hey there, big boy. You're Crispy Bacon, right? That's me. Pleased to meet you. I'm Molly. Molly Buttons, they call me. Charmed. So, how do you know my name? The boss sent me to lend you a hand. And to keep you an eye on you, Savvy. What? Hey, now, I put in my two weeks' notice before I left. 
Poughkeepsie, fair and square. No, that's not my boss. The boss. The boss? You know, she glances over both shoulders and hisses at you. The my boss. Oh, that the boss. Sheesh, I can't tell you if you got screwed loose or you're just fucking with me. I like to keep people guessing. So what, you're supposed to partner up with me? That's the deal, McNeil. And do what? what? What's a 20-something girl like you doing working for the mob anyway? Hey now, I ain't just pretty face. She pulls a Tommy gun with a full-size drum magazine from behind her back, gives it a flip in the air and catches it with a mad glitter in her eyes. Holy jeez. Tee hee hee. Cripes, you have to whisper the boss, but you're fine with waving the machine gun around the public. So we're teaming up or what? Sure, why not? Always got room for a gun turning. No, I don't need the yeah, let's Sure, let's to mom. Okay, Molly has joined you as a companion. Peachy. Come with me now, sure. Okay, I'll have it. You got it. Let's hit the bricks. Those bricks. Okay, so does that mean... Okay, so it's Molly now. So Gabby left. I mean, I leveled up Gabby. So I kind of feel bad now. But we'll see what Molly has to offer. Let's go to the store. I don't think I've been here yet. Talk to her. Clap your gums a bit. Give it a small talk, just like... Okay, so I bet... Uh, da, what's her name? Gabby wants to speak easy. Let's see how powerful Molly is. Hi, I'm Crispy. Well, hello there, my friend. Jens Jordanson. Glad to meet you. He grabs your hand and big meaty handshake. So you sell weapons here? Yeah! You are needing any kind of device that takes advantage of leverage at momentum to apply a large amount of force to a small impact point. You've come to the right place, you betcha. What's for sale? Let's see what he's got. Oh my god, this is... Holy moly! Look at this mace! This is crazy! A lot of these are really good. Okay, let's buy this mace from him. Hell, yeah! But where? I don't know if I can ever repair them. Alright, so I equipped it. I uh, got rid of some stuff. How strong is this guy? What? How strong are you, gents? Oh, pretty strong, I guess, yeah. But wouldn't you hurt a flyer? No way. What if uh, by killing a flyer you could save a thousand lives? Oh, geez. No, I couldn't do it. I'm legally prohibited from using my strength against others. Don't you know? Government there says I'd have an unfair advantage. Gotta live vicariously through others now, you know? Say if you hurt a fly, will you tell me how it feels? If I hurt a fly, you'll be first known. Side quest. Cool. Alright. Okay. Anything in there? No. Is that was that more is there more uh stores here? Right, pants. Yeah, the pants store. Okay. Hi, I'm Crispy. I'm Nancy. If you're in the market for pants, I've come to their praise. A market of pants. So how nice what's to sell. Okay, what she's got. Uh what about the that uh stench armor? No, she doesn't have that. Okay. Let's take a look at my pants. I got one maximum physical armor here. What do I have? Two physical armor. I mean, mine are really good. Let's keep mine on. Okay, so we got a side item, my side quest. Uh, we got two of them. If I ever heard a fly, tell him how it feels. Um, then Dan T wants to take shake down the proprietor of Valley Hardware near Chris Lake. Okay, Valley Hardware. So let's go there. Um, did I need to go back somewhere for something here? Okay, so I just went back to the Hobo Village, and looks like Howie is teaching me some more stuff. Uh, I already didn't know that. Yes. So see if anybody. Hey, Valley. What was that noise? Strange, I never heard that before. Warm hands, I already had that though, right? This is a spooky freaking sound, that is really weird. That is very strange.
I ask about hobo code. Hobo knowledge is okay, fantastic. Okay, so I can come back here and increase my knowledge. That was great. Ask about his piano hobo code. Hobo code increase, fantastic. Ask about piano. Same thing we told me before, right? Nothing new. Okay, so far so good. I learned, I got a couple uh, points in the Hubble code. Hubble code? Yes, Hubble code knowledge increased. Are you able to find any work? Are you asking this, right? Has the camp treating you? Yeah, nothing yet. Definitely better than state, yeah. Okay, same old, right? That he said before. Hubble code. Fantastic. Oh yeah. Okay, so nothing new. They just give me more code. Yeah, this is a hobo code here. The hobo table, I guess, right? I like your hat. I already talked to her about it. Where's the main guy? I'm sure, I can do the side quest. Wait a second. Okay. Do you think you might be in the vicinity of the seaside to do technology anytime soon? I have a small delivery, I need someone to make sure. Okay, great. I got a quest item. I received a word that a hobo out there has come into possession of a number of old dorm room beds, and we would certainly make use of them. Would you locate the man and give him this invitation? I'll keep my eye out. Mm, I already talked to him about all this stuff, so. Okay. So now we can go and use my hobo code in the um, Crystal Lake. Oh, okay, so there's not a place here. Campus now. Fantastic. That might be chapter 3, I don't know. But we still got a lot, I feel like we still got a lot to do here. I don't think we're done with chapter 2 by any means. I mean, look at how much space here. Alright. So let's go to the hardware store first. And there is uh, something written in the hobo code that could be translating them. Oh, this freaking fairy. Fairy lair. Oh, another location. Okay. Let's check out later. Let's do the hobo codes. So we got another location unlocked. Fantastic. I think it was here. Maybe. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Who's outside somewhere? Oh, there's nothing here. Valley hardware. Oh, there it is right here. Look. Translated. That's it. Keldry's nice man asking for candy. Neat. Okay. I was asking for candy. Ask for candy. Why, sure. Here you go. He's giving me hard candy. Oh, it's a potion. Okay. Very nice. Let's go to the next one. I think it was in the dam. So let's go to the dam. I'm gonna fly now. I have to take a road. What? I got a 300 meat. Fantastic. It's a future version of myself. That's great. I'm taking it my way. Okay, so where was this code at? There it is, right here. 150 meat. Great. Okay, so the next one was in the symmetry, right here. Translate this. Oh, and I got a hat. Great. Okay. Uh, next, we gotta go to Distillery. I think we need to go there anyway to fight somebody, right? So, for the side quest. Nice. I guess it's the side of it, right? Mm. There we go, translate this. Busok handkerchief. So we got an accessory. Oh my god! Plus five stain armor. We needed that. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. Okay. 
Where is that? Uh, there was something here that used tension. Huh? You know, I think it was... It was this valve here, but it doesn't... It's not used anymore because I think I already killed everybody here. I think the valve is gonna open some up and probably... I don't know, do something to the enemy. Alright. And then there was one in the junker. Are those supposed to fight here somebody, no? I guess not. Alright, let's go to junkyard. I get another location. Okay, in a minute. Alright, let's go find this freaking code. Okay, for the junkyard, it was. Um, yeah, where was it? Right here. Dig through this. Follow trash. Catch on, I got trash soaked pants. Great. Okay, so I think that was it. And I put that accessory on. Um, that gives me five stench armor. So we got all the uh, hobo things we saw, and we got stench armors. All right, so we got two new locations. Um, let's go to that beep spot, I guess. Well, that's hold the line. I stepped in some kind of weird mushrooms. Spores all over my good dancing shoes. They're crying out loud. Dancing is an actual dancing, or is it a back alley shutout? Uh, ta -da -da, anyway, I got some kind of spores. It's a potion, great. Alright, so what is this? There's a rock here. I thought that was a rock guy. Beppo's Hole is named after Beppo's Suricio, who purchased this plot of land in 1903 with a stated intention of creating a shark's sanctuary. He managed to dig one decent sized pit, but before he could fill it up with sharks, it filled itself up with spiders. Or perhaps it could be more accurate to say that spiders filled up with themselves and their offspring. Their teeming hordes of awful venomous offspring. It is the opinion of the Crystal Dream Lake historical society that Bippus Hall should be avoided at all costs. In fact, we probably shouldn't have put this place placard here and included or included it in any of our maps. May those you leave behind forgive us. Fascinating. Great spending all my time reading that. Alright, there's definitely a lot of spiders in this hall. It's probably one of those um, infinite things, right? Alright, so there's how many? Only three, so I'm not gonna use this guy, I don't think. So let's throw uh, something. <laughs> Seven, those guys are weak, yeah. Let's have this soccer ball as one. Mm. He's gonna die from poison, so I don't need to mess with him. Let's switch him. Uh, let's throw all of him. He's gonna die from poisonous in two. Let's switch characters here. There we go. There's only two? I feel like there's three. I can switch to him for some reason. Oh. Alright, let's just. Oh, maybe I did. Oh yeah, I think I did. Okay, so... She is good for multiple enemies. Cause she's got that machine gun that hits for 1 HP several times each enemy. Or several enemies randomly. I believe that's what's happening here. That's a spider X. Okay. Oh no, that's it. Although, yeah, jump and fight some. Yeah, it's probably... What is this? Are you a person or mind-breaking quantity of baby spiders? Mmph. Is that the kind of noise that a whole lot of baby spiders would make? Mmph. Cut them free. You cut apart the cocoon, bracing yourself for a true horror. Unfortunately, it turns out to be just a guy in there. Thanks, friend. You had me worried for there for a second. They call me Doc. I came here to get some free gauss. Got a bit more than I bargained for. I'm Doc. Hi, Doc. I'm Chris Crispy. I assume you assume from your doctor hat thing that you're literally a doctor. In the sense of doctoring is my profession, yes. In the sense that I have a legal license and practicing is no. Um tell me about the hobo camp. Oh asking for a hobo code. Fantastic, ask him something else. Hobo camp. You know there's a hobo camp just outside of Ocean City. They probably see it could use a doctor. Great, I could use some patience because I'm much too eager to get doctoring. That's a joke uh, that works better out loud than in print, but always... Anyway, see you there. 15 XP, fantastic. 
Great. Send me the doctor. Okay, so... This is probably infinite, so I'm gonna just fight one more time and that's it. Let's go ahead and use this guy. Oh, uh, throw a soccer ball. He's dead. Bang him. And I feel like... Um, Molly will be better companion when she levels up. So right now this is only one person, so I can just use this baseball bat probably and uh, hit him with it. Yeah. Thanks, turtle. Okay. Uh, what about what about Molly? I want Molly to go stronger. Okay, so next we're going to Fairy Lair. Uh, actually, I was able to clear all the spiders there. No. Five meat by soda. No. The one that's soda. Good asking that. Okay, I think we were supposed to clear this out. I couldn't even exactly remember. We didn't reach inside. We got a Fury knife. Fantastic. Talk to her. Oh, that's Molly. Alright, Molly, let's fight him. My goodness, they shoot too. Okay, is there a healer? Yeah, there is. So, let me throw stuff at him. Uh, I guess let's shoot everybody. That's not gonna kill her, so we just throw a rock. And uh, no, that's it. Okay. Um, doesn't matter. This is gonna die, so it doesn't really matter. I don't want to think about this. This is an easy fight. Whack it, Molly. I gained 12 XP. Why isn't Molly leveling up? I. Let's pick item. Powerful grid, okay. So we got some uh, cooking stuff. But why didn't why isn't Molly leveling up? It's weird little pocket of nothing is just sort of hovering here. Maybe I, you could should ask Jessica about it, okay? We'll ask Jessica about this later. I'm sure it's not that you shouldn't do this. It might give you some kind of shadow disease. Or might we just buy it? Do it. Well, alright, it's your hand or hand rather. Don't come crying to me, okay? Whatever. Shadow hot dog. Food. Okay. Oh, I didn't have to ask Jessica about it. Who knows? Stop these guys. Good fight, good fight. Come on, Turtle is leveling up, but my, not Molly. Oh, yeah, maybe, I guess Gabby didn't level up fast either, I don't think. Maybe when I talk to her more, she'll level up. Who knows? I don't know. We'll see. Hand injury. Oh. That's not good. Negative one muscle. That's an effect, so it doesn't, I just... I don't know. Mm, one, two, three, four. That's where you should go. Totally, totally crushed one of them. No, he's gonna die anyway. Poison. Whack it, Molly. Oh, that's a healer. He killed himself. <laughs> He's dead. Alright, some XP. I got a Fury Cake. Uh, I gotta be careful reaching on these guys. Take it back to your room. Uh, what seriously you want to take this obviously evil, ob obviously extremely ugly statue back to your room? Sure. You're not going to be able to drag it out here with fairies. Silver and blue area. Ah, good point. Okay, so I can't even take that. Two on the side. 180 meat. Great. Is 
like more and more of them. Now they definitely can wipe Molly. She's still kind of weak. All right, um, we're gonna get the ball. Uh, you're just gonna die anyway. I'm gonna come straight on you. Oh, six. Interesting. My God. Thanks, turtle. Goodbye, mushroom. Reach from inside and see. Uh, okay, get some ring. Okay, renders you immune to on fire. Okay, so nobody can light me up on fire. It's like a special boss, maybe for fight him to light me on fire. Uh, I got everything here, right? Okay, so what do we accomplish? We have side quest. Shake up the cans of paint and at Valley Hardware. Okay, so we need to go back to try to shake up the cans. Um, I haven't heard a fly yet. I haven't seen. So let's go to Valley Hardware. Molly's muscle increased by one. Great. Finally something. Shake some paint. Is this paint here? Shake them up. You give all the paint cans of Vigorious shaking the proprietor nuts his thanks. Oh, that's all I had to do for him. Mm, ask for Kenji? Ask for something else. Alright, so nothing new for sale, right? So we're all good. So is that complete? I didn't get anything for it. You just liked me for it, so I don't know. Okay, so what we got left? We have a... A regular quest, right? Take the boss to CIT and see if you can find the book. So that might be chapter three. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure if that's if this is it for this uh, map or not. But I think I've, I mean, I've done a lot here. Uh, I'll try to find something else real quick. The one that we're not around, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not. <laughs> All right. So um, I wandered around and I couldn't find any new places or anything new. So I think this my next one is be chapter three. I'm not exactly sure yet. We still have this fly side quest. I don't know how to solve that yet. I haven't run into any flies yet, so we'll continue that soon.